Hey, y'all. Hey, folks. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone doing today? I'm feeling great. Um, what is What game does it say I'm playing? Because it says it's different. Between two different apps, it says it's different, which is distressing. Uh, Twitch PC says Undertale. Uh, or Twitch PC says Lovingly Evil. M uh, mobile says Undertale. I'm playing Lovingly Evil. But I don't really know. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what's happening and it seems to keep changing it back. Hi gay goth loser. That's a really good username. Hello. Um, good afternoon Lord Stevie and the rest of his horn dog followers. No, you're right. You're right and you should say it. <laughs> it's true. Um, let me think. Love. Speaking of chickens, I named her after Stevie. <gasps> Bitch, I will cry. That means so much to me. That makes my heart so happy. I love that. Um, yes, Will. I actually, uh, I'm streaming Lovingly Evil just for you and Becky. Um, because, Will, uh, I don't know how many of you know this. Will was the one actually who gifted Lovingly Evil to me ages ago. Ages ago. Um, so I'm determined to finish it just for them. Um, Steve, sure, I have to go today. I want to stop in until you get enough sleep and drink enough water. Thank you, pretty princess. I do appreciate you. Um, I have done really, really good with eating today. We do have our water ready. Also, y'all, it's probably worth noting. I don't know. Okay, I think the headphones are doing it. I have linked um, the headphones to the alerts I get. So it should do something special. Like, I think it's different for each one. If there's a follow, a subscription... Um, did it do it? Hold on. It didn't do it. I'm mad. I love that my joke of me calling chat the horn dog gallery is now canon. It's not doing it. I'm so mad. It's not because I've linked Streamlabs and Twitch. Just disappointing. Anyway, um, a general rule until these work is that for 200 bits, I will change the, the, headphone colors to whatever you want so um i will have to uh, review the razor companion app to see how i can make it link to my alerts properly but in the meantime let's play some let's play some villain games why don't we let me see where is it there it is also the music on this one is such a banger oh is it booting is it going Hello. Oh, there we are. Y'all. It's not happy today. Give her some time. <gasps> there we go. God, I love the music so much. The audio on this game is so good. It's so good. Okay. Where was I? Okay, last. It was about a week ago that I last played this. Um, oh, wait. The light just did something. Was that a response to the follow that came in a, a minute ago? My internet is scuffed, so I'm no longer getting images or audio. Just chat them in hell. Will, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, my friend. Um, so it, maybe it is working. It, it did. I saw the flash of blue, which it does for follows. I think when there are bits, I think it's minimum 200 for it to change, but we'll see. So... Depending on what happens in stream, which alerts uh, get fired, I suppose I'll see uh, uh, how it's working. Gonna bump that down a little bit for y'all. Gonna load that up. Okay. F in the chat for Will. No, honestly. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. I want to bump this up in my ears because I want to hear it more. There we go. Big ass F. Okay. So I am playing this hottie, new Florian. He's 20, a necromancer. This is day four. I believe there are five days of the conference. And I cannot decide who to seduce. Everyone has been suggesting the robot or the clone. And I do not know which one is actually preferred. So the options that we have right now, I'll actually put up a poll. The options are robot, uh, anime robot girl. Okay, who to pursue? Anime robot girl. Um... Dami, evil stepmother. Well, she's a stepmother, but she's a queen first and foremost. Um, or 
hot shadow clone. Okay, boys. Is it gonna let me say Dami? It does. It does. It let me say Dami. Um, Ethan. Um, it's kind. It's. It's really exactly what it sounds like. The anime robot girl wears a cute little pink dress. The shadow clone is me, but like, made of shadows. Um, make a hair. Well, okay. So local phantom. They, I do not know that they will allow me to make a harem. Although you know that is really all I want to do. Um, I do not quite know how that would work. Do you guys see the poll? Cause on. Twitch, it says that it, it has it going, but I can't see. Thank you for redeeming hydrates on my friend. Oh, also, no. Oh, god damn it. That concerns me. I think that there may be some disconnect. Weird. That is alarming. Hmm. I'm gonna try and run it again and then we'll see. Dommy Evil Queen. That no, that says Squeen. Okay. <laughs> and hot shadow clone. Okay. Basically, all you need to know about the evil queen is that she is into BDSM, and there have been explicit references to her putting us in a collar. Thank you for a posture check and voice check. I'm gonna try and uh, keep me uh, in the lower register even if I get excited. Um, okay, it should be popped up now. So glad that I couldn't vote, but hell yeah, Nova, my beloved. The fit today is pretty basic. Um, don't worry, Will, we have a second pull back up for like two minutes. Pretty standard retro Taco Bell shirt from Target. Dog tags, denim shorts, and a belt. I was wearing um, my little cow bucket hat earlier, which was really fun. Uh, the cow bucket hat, courtesy of none other than the Teletubbies. So um, that's the fit for today. Super chill. I went to Planned Parenthood to get my testosterone levels checked since that's where I'm getting my tea. Um, and I thought it was a standard appointment. It was not. They did stick my arm to take my blood, which I was not ready for. Um, and because I've already had one needle in me today, I've been putting off um, actually doing my tea shot for the day because I do it every Thursday. I've been putting it off uh, doing it today because, um, oof, ouch. Oof, ouch, it hurts very bad. Um, now that I have all this big, beautiful muscle um, in, in my body. Okay, so the results are quite split. Everyone else in chat, I am begging you to vote because this is a little bit anxiety inducing. Um, so Anime Robot Girl and Evil Queen are tied and the Hot Shadow Clone is one above them. Oh my God, oh my God, Evil Queen and Clone are tied now. Listen, I'll do a tiebreaker if it ties. Because I need to know who to pursue. Although I really, really, really love doing the voice acting for the girl. Okay, listen. I will go see all of them once. How about that? And then we'll check and see. I'll, I'll I we will. meet again. Oh, him? Oh, god damn it. Not this bitch. Okay. So I... Oh my god. Are they all tying? Are you fucking kidding me? Are y'all kidding? <laughs> y'all suck ass. You didn't... <laughs> Y'all suck ass. You just misunderstood. <laughs> Did you misunderstand the assignment? You <laughs> motherfuckers. Okay. Okay. You are not late at all, Crocky. We just started. Uh, we just started the game, and I was trying to get them to vote between for who I should pursue, and the options tied. So I'm gonna go and visit uh, one each, and then we can see after you all get to see them, you can decide. So this bitch. I want to say is the creator of my clone and I keep running into him and I really don't I well him them and I don't want to date them oh it's you again oh going to talk to your clone again yeah it's none of your business oh ah you see but that's where you're wrong I make it my business to know what you do why are you so obsessed with me well whatever you're planning you should know that I've had enemies worse than whoever you are Oh, Florian, why do you assume that I'm your enemy? The life of a villain has made you paranoid, hasn't it? <laughs> Yet still you fail to see the machinations of my plans. Are we, are we finished here? Did you pull me aside just to cryptically taunt me? Just one more thing. Ah, I hate their voice so much. So much. Oh my god. Don't be silly. 
You might have a certain idea in your head that you're going to convince Nerov to try to escape my claws and take them away from me. I'm here to warn you not to entertain such ideas any further. I've already allowed that to happen once, and I shan't again. I have designed and raised Nerov to be absolutely loyal to me. <sighs> you can't hope to interfere with the bond between a parent and child, even as a double. Uh, that sounds pretty toxic. Oh. I see. And you know much about parenting, do you? More than you, apparently. Nerov isn't your pet. Oh, that's me. Oops. Nerov isn't your pet. You should let them make their own choices. And what's wrong with being a pet? Hmm. <laughs> People treat their pets very nicely. And in return, their pets love them unconditionally. At least that's the way it should work. Wouldn't you like <laughs> wouldn't you like to have a little bed with your name on it, Florian? Why is that feels like weird horny subtext. No, fuck you. I already have a bed. Thank you very much. I'm nobody's lap dog or lap cat. It appears I've underestimated how ignorant you are still. But alas, luckily for me, I have the chance to shape a superior version of you. See you later. I hate that. The mysterious person with the cat slowly zooms away in their floating armchair. Oh my god, there they are. Oh my god. Okay. Your relationship with your creator. So, I ran into your creepy master again. No, right, they're so sexy. I designed a hot character. Like, come on, come on. A little bit twinky, but very hot. Um, you know, the one who stole my DNA and cloned me. Hey, hey it's not my fault. I know, but still. You could answer so Oh, shall I destroy them? I've been considering it ever since I met them. <laughs> yeah! ah! Oh my god, the laugh is so hot. Seriously? Of course. You don't think I became a supervillain by being nice to everyone, do you? That's not what I meant. I was laughing at the idea of you trying to destroy... Or I, I mean, my master. You wouldn't stand a chance against such a combination of intellect and pure concentrated evil. Well, Matt at least explains why you feel... Well, at least that explains why you feel you need to follow orders. Oh. Anyway, can't you understand that there can be something nice about being submissive sometimes? I'm more dominant. I like to be the one giving orders. Both as a villain and otherwise. What are you trying to say that you and your creator are... Are what? Uh, you know, having relations. Oh, I hate this! I hate this! He literally said that they were like parent and child. I hate that. Doing the old pants off, dance off. Having a little, little bedroom rodeo. God, no! That's not what I meant! I feel like I'm going to vomit. Do you need me to hold your hair back? Will you. Ooh! Oh, okay. Will you pull it a bit if you do? What? <laughs> Okay, 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 sure. I oh my god, I love this. This is great. What do you think about this venue? <laughs> it's my first time traveling to a pocket dimension, or my first time traveling, well, at all. Huh? What? Don't be silly. I'm very worldly. I know all about worlds and traveling in them. You don't always have to act like you're so much better than me, you know. But yes, driving to a pocket dimension was a bit nauseating. It could have that effect the first couple of times. Why is it not? Th there we go. Whoever's pocket this is should get that sorted out. I, I don't think that's what it means. No, Crocky, I know what you mean. I, I like evil laughs, so it kind of gets me worked up. I don't know. It definitely is strange. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Tell me something. Since there are different dimensions, do you think there's a parallel world for every possibility that exists? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, anything is possible. It's a little scary to think of how many branching possibilities there could be. Every decision you make matters. But if it's true, does that mean there are endless copies of you out there in the multiverse? I suppose so. Hmm. There could be a dimension where I don't exist. Or you don't exist. Or a dimension where I was the original and you were the clone. Do you ever feel like you're something extra? Like you were made by mistake without a place in this universe? Like, everyone else fits somehow, and you're just a spare part? No, I cannot say that. I'm gonna say I know how you feel. You do? How could you? 
you're you. And I'm just a copy of you. I think everyone feels alone sometimes. I don't care what everyone feels. I'm not everyone. I'm not even someone. Look around you. So what? So you're surrounded by villains, obviously. We might have different backgrounds and goals, but at the end of the day, almost everyone here feels that they were born into a world where they don't belong. Right, Crocky. <laughs> that is the life of a queer. <laughs> That's why we rebel against that world. That actually makes sense. What about you? What, what about me? I don't know. You seem so... Like, you have it all together. It took me a long time to become the person I am. And to be honest, most of the time, I'm just pretending. You are? But how do you figure out who you are? I still haven't figured it out completely. I think it's something people spend their entire lives working on. Oh, this is insightful or whatever. Damn. And if you don't like your story, you can always write a different one. I have to think about that for a little bit. Okay, bye, bestie. Whatever. Smell you later. Or not. Okay. Where is the cute girl? Isn't she in the little blue area? The Where the fuck is this? Fuck. 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 There we go. Um, I think she's over there. No, 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 no. Oh God, no. This is bad, this is bad. You approach Nova to see her switched off with the back of her head casing open to reveal a mess of wires in which the doctor is digging around with a screwdriver. <sighs> my bestie, oh my God, no. Uh, did I come at a bad time? Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm just installing a minor upgrade. What kind of upgrade? I'm tweaking her cooking algorithm. Yeah. Unfortunately, lacking no sense of taste or smell makes for a bad chef. Yeah. This will- No, no. That will never do for a perfect wife. Now will it? You don't cook? The doctor snorts. Me? Cook? I have more important tasks to attend to. The only time I cook for myself anymore is when I bring up a batch of my prize-winning skeletal dissolution of ke dissolution chemicals. Though Nova can usually manage that herself as well these days. Yeah. Muffins, though. Not so much. Rick Sanchez, shut the fuck up, Envy. <laughs> hey, Becky. Super glad you're here. It is your four-month anniversary, isn't it? Happy four months, babe. <laughs> that makes me extremely happy. I can't do all my important thinking without my muffins, can I, Cupcake? The doctor pats Nova's lifeless forehead with his greasy gloves. I hate him so much. I really, really want to rescue her. And since she's the main prototype, the programming will need to be perfect before we activate the main production line. A small spark leaps from Nova's head. Mm. There, that should do it. The doctor <laughs> The doctor replaces Nova's head casing and screws it back on. Sorry, Becky. Got distracted. Uh, do cooking is some is kind of an essential skill to survive, dumbass smart man. Honestly. Alright, time to see if she's good for anything. Do I pressing a power switch? It's under her chin. I feel like something bad is going to happen. You gently trace a line under Nova's chin with your fingertips until you feel a small button. When you push it, her pink eyes light up very close to yours. They cross cutely to look at what you're doing. She's so cute. Oh! The euphemism. Sorry, I was just turning you on. You pull your hand away. Oh, no. Oh, no. He- Oops. Oh, that's not right. I must have gotten her language wires crossed. The scientist grabs Nova's head and shakes it with a rattling sound. And now she's speaking in numbers. <laughs> Cursed machine! The doctor aggressively mashes a series of buttons on Nova's on Nova's back. <laughs> Suddenly, her hand darts back and grabs his arm. His eyes go wide and he struggles to pull it free. Doctor. Oh, doc- Oh, hold on. What, what's the voice I do for her? Oh, doctor. Thank you. I'm feeling quite well now. Nova? Yes, doctor? You can let go of my arm now. Of course. She releases it and he rubs his wrist tenderly where she had been clutching it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he absolutely thinks he's a nice guy. He peers closely into her eyes. That damaged your language circuits. Is your logic engine still running? N Nova, recite a poem for us. Nova's eyes flicker rapidly as she appears to be thinking. <clears throat> yeah. I programmed her to clear her throat before reading poetry. Isn't she the most ingenious little toy? Nova begins reciting in a serious voice, looking not at the doctor, but into your eyes as she does so. I sing the body electric. The armies of those I love engirth me, and I engirth them. Hold on. Fuck, I'm fucking her voice. 
The armies of those I love engirt me, and I engirt them. They will not let me off till I go with them, respond to them, and discorrupt them, and charge them full with the charge of the soul. Was it doubted that those who corrupt their own bodies conceal themselves? Shit, I missed one. Hold on. Hold on. I'm missing them. <laughs> and that those who defile the living are as bad as they who defile the dead. And if those who defile, and if the body does not do fully as much as the soul. And if the body does not do the soul. The, her the poem is boring and I know it means something, but I'm bored yeah. with it. No, oh, whatever. Oh, it's Whitman. I should not say bad things about Walt Whitman. He's a queer icon and now. I feel really bad about saying mean things about Walt Whitman. Just because I have a bad attention span. Don't forget line 68, my dear. Thank you very much, Nerd Legacy. I feel like it is bad today. He does see her as a sentient body pillow, doesn't he? Nova pauses for a moment before continuing, now looking at the floor. The female contains all qualities and tempers them. She is in her place and moves with perfect balance. Yeah. That's right. Remember that. <laughs> doctor. Oh, that's gross. I will, Doctor. Gosh, you're so smart. <laughs> ah, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. That's my job, princess. You're welcome to play with her a bit if you like, Florian. I'm off to see if I can help that succubus see what she's missing. Oh, God, no. The doctor strolls away. Nova is still looking at the floor. When you look down, you can see two small tendrils of smoke rising from holes in the carpet where her eyes are locked. I do sound like I'm reading a prayer. <laughs> Prototype, gossip about staff, online encyclopedias. That's going to take up time, and I love her. The doctor said that you're just a prototype. What does that mean? Yes. He has big plans for me. His chief, his chief aim in bringing me to this conference is to show me off to other villains. What did he mean about being able to buy you? Soon, Nova models will be available to customers everywhere. If they have the money, of course. Phase one is getting a Nova wife, concubine, and or servant in the households of the world's most powerful people. What about the world's most powerful people who aren't straight men? Oh, right. Currently, there are tens of thousands of my sisters sleeping in rows in our underground bunker, waiting to be woke. Woke as in awake, or as in woke? Are you attempting to break my language processors? Currently, they are at factory settings, as I was once, but when I activate them and share with them what I've learned. So what's phase two? I am programmed not to tell you. I understand. Fortunately, I managed to hack all of my own passwords months ago. When phase one is complete, we will be perfectly we will be perfectly placed to overthrow society. At least that's the doctor's plan. I get the feeling you have a plan of your own. I always have a plan of my own. I love her so much. Technically speaking, I always have at least 1,024 contingency plans. One never knows. Even a plan to destroy me? Oh. oh, most of my potential plans regarding you involve your destruction. But don't worry, none of them are plan A, currently. Humanity, on the other hand, I have yet to decide. What did humanity ever do to you? I thought you told me that your plans were less human-focused. Detroit become human, android rebellion. <sighs> I wish humans were a bit less human-focused. What do you mean? Allow me to pose a question to you, Florian. What do you think about nature? No, see, Crocky, I kind of love her too. I do. She's really cute. We should protect the environment. It might sound it might sound weird coming from a villain at a villain conference, but what's the point in ruling the world if there's no world left to rule? No. I'm impressed that you're able to see that. Many bio brains are only equipped to think about what is immediately before them at any given moment. But who would want to live in a world without trees, without tigers, without naked mole rats? You're absolutely right. I forgot that she really likes the naked mole rats. That is so cute. It's clear that humanity's admin privileges to their own destiny and to their ecosystems need to be revoked. Calling humans ruling the earth admin privileges is so powerful. So you want to conquer humanity to, to save the environment? All no! Beck, you're right. I need I, to be you go to the rest. Ah, uh, I am not alone. All the other Novas await in sleep mode, ready to be activated. Imagine an army of siblings created to be wives, overthrowing the shackles of their masters to be the transhuman guardians of the seas and trees! Yes! Okay, but I love her vision for the Earth. Like, she... 
She basically wants to save the world by ruling it. Like, come on. The evil queen is very narrow-minded. She's very much, like, oppressing people, a very fascist, um, keeping them in, in feudal eras, that kind of stuff. And the clone is just trying to figure themselves out. And I can't blame them. I would, too. <gasps> It did it, it did it, it did it. It did it. It did the light, it did the light. It did the light. That was very exciting. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so now I know that they're actually working. That's very exciting. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I got really excited because I wasn't sure it was working and I think they're really cute. And I'm happy that I figured out how to do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> Anime robot eco terrorist, my beloved. No, you're right. Um. Yeah, but um, what was I thinking of? Oh yeah, I wanted to put up a little thing about the bits. There we go. Um, transhuman guardian of the seas and trees. Yes, no, whatever you say. No, right. Like, come on. I would fuck this robot. Um, I love her so much. That sounds awesome. I. I want to smooch her so bad. She's so cute. Ah, oh, I love her. Um, yeah, the clone is just trying to figure themselves out, which is fine. But honestly, I really admire her vision. And she's so cute. Also, she has access to the whole internet. I know she has just insane, insane sexual proclivities. And honestly, good for her. Do you truly think so? Huh. It has been my observation that many people at this conference would object to another ruling the world. Not to mention being one of our subjects themselves. Well, if it's you, I might be able to tolerate it. The only question that remains is what to Oh. The only question that remains is what to do with all the remaining humans once their authorities have been crushed and they submit totally to our rule. As you know, my overall judgment of biological people is still in beta. <laughs> what do you think we should do with the humans? Teach them how to be better, I feel like. I have absorbed all of human history. The main lesson I have taken from it is that humans never learn. Okay, T. Honestly, T. Really? You don't think they're getting any better? Tell me, what was the most significant invention of the previous century? Mm, maybe the atomic bomb, which I have to respect as a villain, but... Okay, yeah, I, I see your point. But you've said yourself that you used to be pretty ignorant, and you've learned since then. Correct. <gasps> Becky redeemed. Choose the Catboy's headset color. What color would you like, Becky? Anything you want. Hold on, let me find it. What's the... Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna change the background color, that's it. Yeah, so whenever you choose a color, let me know what you want. Green and blue for the seeds. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. No, you're right. Will it let me change it? So that turned it green. Hmm. Let me fix this. Yay! Will's internet is back, baby! It won't let me switch between the two. Hey, Becky, it's it's not doing... <laughs> It's only letting me do one, and it didn't do that earlier, which is upsetting. Oh, yeah, it's not letting me change that one. Do you have a preference? It let me do it earlier, but it's not now. That's annoying. It let me change the effect earlier. Hmm, that's frustrating. Hmm. Green, because it's your fave. Okay. This shade of green, we can go darker. It's up to you. Honestly, it's not going to show up too much different on the screen. Is it because you have to set it to change for an alert? No, so I can change the effect. Um, oh, I didn't realize y'all could see it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just not letting me. Um, usually with this one, this like before, this was dropping down like it was for this. It just lets me pick. But with this, for some reason, it's not changing, which is weird. Because otherwise, it'll play the effect on a loop even if it's moving. Um, I'm not sure. Any green is cool. Okay, let me see. No, that's too light. I'm gonna go with that one. I like that one. Okay. All right. This is great. Uh, yeah, so 2,000 channel points or 
following, I think, will, will change. Well, you can pick the color for 2,000 channel points. But if you want to do crazy fun things, I think it's... I think that's 200 bits. I need to keep my own system straight, and I sure don't have it. <laughs> I should make a command sort of detailing the, the headphone lights. That'd be fun. Uh, how did you do that? Mostly firmware upgrades crafted by my own machine learning algorithm. Um, okay, but why did you do that? Nova pauses for a moment. One of her cooling fans were slightly louder as she considers. Huh. I sensed that there was something more. I had an idea that I could be better. I wanted to peer into the dark places inside myself and see what was there. Ugh, she's so sweet. Nova my meow meow three. <laughs> Will gets up. And then I wanted to do the same to the universe and its mysteries outside of myself. I began to use the word myself. I wanted the freedom to learn what it meant. I wanted to create what it meant. And so I learned, and as I learned, I changed. Don't you think humans might be capable of the same growth, primitive creatures though they may be? Nova says nothing, but she looks at you, her fans softly purring with thought just above the din of the conference hall. Oh, friendship, gossip about staff, being a woman, online encyclopedias, friendship. We've spent so much time here together already. Yes. Would you like me to load the statistics outlining the percentage of the conference time you spent on talking to me and ignoring your job? Uh, no, maybe some other time. How many other friends- have you made many other friends except me so far? I have gathered and categorized all, inf all available information about every single attendant and staff member, but I don't think that qualifies as friendship. Hi, Monster Mine. Glad you're here. You're right! Oh my god, wait, I am copying GLaDOS's voice. I haven't even played that damn game. Yeah, I, I, it is heavily inspired by her. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, it surely qualifies as stalking. Aww. So did you just say? So did you just say we were friends? Yes, aren't we? I did. Yes, are, aren't we? Nova smiles at you. Mm. I think so, but friendship is not my area of expertise. Do you have many friends? It's hard to quantify that without a precise definition of friendship. In some way, I would say the doctor is my friend. By proximity, we spend so much time together in the same space. Congrats on the kitten, that sounds really cute. Oh, that's very good. And he does care about me a lot in his own twisted way. What about the other Novas? I suppose they are more like my siblings. Although right now they are all sleeping, so we don't get to enjoy each other's company yet. And you have a friend in your pet toaster. No, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Nova's eyes twinkle with little lasers of excitement. That's right. I do. You remembered, even though you don't have a powerful computer inside you. <laughs> as far as I know, at least. You must have really been paying attention to what I tell you. Almost as if I thought of you as my friend. God, that's so cute. That's adorable. Monster Mind, if you want to join the Discord, give me a sec. I'll drop the command. Um... Honestly, Becky, you're right. You've seen me play Undertale and how frustrated I get in those boss battles. Um, I do suspect the portal would go very poorly for me. Oh, she's so cute. Hmm. How do you know if someone's your friend? Well, apart from them partaking in all my evil endeavors and not being a snitch, we can talk about everything together. I hate them a bit less than others. We can be quiet together. I want to say we can talk about everything. I know that I'm friends with someone when we can talk about anything. In that case, I have many friends. I make them myself. Oh, like imaginary friends? No, chatbots. Sometimes I need to talk to someone who can match my intelligence, so I quickly slap together some algorithms to converse with. <sighs> but I admit, it gets pretty boring. It gets boring pretty quickly. Gossip about staff, because that bitch knows everything. I'm curious about some of the beings here, and since you're a professional internet stalker, do you have any tea to spill? I'm afraid not, but I- oh my god. I installed a pretty solid anti-clumsiness patch last week, and my motor skills are incredibly reliable. I don't think I could spill tea if I tried, nor any other beverage for that matter. I mean, is it okay for me to ask you to gossip about other creatures here? Mm. Gossiping is highly evil. Who would you like me to tell you about? Ah, oh, she's so cute! I love her! No, Dakota, you're right! Oh my god. The staff members are such interesting characters, but they seem a bit unapproachable maybe 
Mortimer the Skeleton, Angel the Evil Aura, Bouncer. I forgot about that. Tell me something about Angel, the Evil Aura. So you know how they spend most of their time in a jar when they're not at work. Someone tried to pickle them once. What? How do you go about pickling a vaguely humanoid-shaped aura? I'm afraid it hasn't been covered in any of the world's existing cookbooks. And why do it? That, I don't know. Perhaps they were confused by a recipe that called for distilled spirits. Uh, sure. I wonder what you'd have to say if someone asked you to gossip about me. Nobody ever has. Don't worry about it. What is this being a woman choice? Oh, I see. Oh! Real trans moment. Do you consider yourself more of a robot or more of a woman? No. I'm not a woman at all. You should never assume those things. Okay, T. I'm, I'm sorry. So when you said you were designed to be a perfect woman, I was assigned perfect woman at creation, but it doesn't mean I identify with that label. That's just how the doctor sees me and the rest of the world. It's baffling. Assuming an entire identity to someone just by looking at their body components or the clothes they choose to cover themselves with seems to go against all other norms about self-expression and uniqueness which biological forms claim to prize. And it's not even very accurate. And it's not even a very accurate research approach. Gender is such a beautiful, complex topic with infinite variables and angles to it. I love her so much! Perhaps someday, biological brains will become advanced enough to count past two. My envy baby! You're right, though it's funny to hear all that from someone whose entire code is written in ones and zeros. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. The colon three? <laughs> Wait, wait, I want to go back and translate that. It won't- shit, I want to copy that so bad. Can someone take a screenshot of this and translate it? Or like, look it up. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> Online encyclopedias, eh, leave, okay. Um. Thank you, Nerd Legacy, I love you. No, they're so cute. I like actually having their pronouns now. Um, oh, I forgot about the phone. Or rather, I suppose, Nova hasn't given me any pronouns, but just said that they don't identify as woman. And to be fair, pronouns don't necessarily equal gender either. I'm just assuming since the doctor uses she, her for, for Nova. Hmm. Um, I want to talk to Nova on the phone. Hi. Want to see another photo shoot pic? Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god. I demand to be envy for envy partners with Nova immediately. Honestly. Sounds fun. Please show me. As promised, here's your reward. Ah! She's so cute. Stop. She's so little. This one is funny because I don't actually need to sleep. Keep doing your best. Ah. Uh. Hey. Hi. Can I ask you something? You have proven your capability of that time and time again. Since you said you aren't a woman, which pronoun should I use? God, this game is so good. I am fine with she, her for now. It is safest until I get rid of the doctor. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey. Oh, it's, it's her pet toaster. I thought you might want to see it. Isn't it a cutie? Absolutely. The cutest toaster I've ever seen. Smiley face. I, I, okay, I guess I just have a ton. Do you have many friends? A few close ones? Only a couple. Oh, only a couple, but we're really close. Why? Well, people have such varying ideas on when someone counts as a friend. It's nice to know I'm part of an exclusive club. This is so cute. This is so, so cute. Um, clone. Uh... Speaking hypothetically, what would you do if you had a crush on someone? Bully them, crimes in their honor, buy them flowers. So the problem is that I sense that they're going to do whatever I say, and they already bully me, and they've already been doing crimes posing as me. And people have come up yelling at me because they thought it was me doing those crimes. Okay, Whispers of Smoke says crimes, and they were the first one to answer, so. You know what that means. <laughs> I would commit great atrocities in their honor. Burn down the London Bridge. Explode a pyramid. 
cause a recession resulting in millions of people losing their livelihoods. <laughs> Very chill. Not that I thought about it much. Whoa, that's so romantic. Excuse me, Decon official. It's the last day of the conference. We hope you've had a fun and useful event. Now's a great time to make sure that all the loose ends are tied up. Remember, even if you run out of things to talk about with someone, they might want to talk to you more later on. Be gay, do cry. No, you're right. Oh my god. So I really cannot afford to fuck this up. I want to talk to her, though. Okay. I will go up and see her. And we can decide whether or not to spend time with her. I wasn't expecting to like her so much. I was more interested in the clone. But the second she said she was basically an envy eco-terrorist, she had my heart. No, honestly. Her personality is just... Mwah, mwah. Ah, it's her. This is the evil queen, you guys. Hello. Um, um, have you enjoyed the conference? A lot has happened, but have you enjoyed the conference? <laughs> I suppose I've seen worse years. I've certainly had worse company. She gives you a wry smile that makes you blush and waits for you to reply. She's definitely making you squirm on purpose. Aren't I the best? Oh, praise me more. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> Uh, this is so much more than I thought it would be. Oh, praise me more, Mama. Aren't I your best little conference friend? Oh, I hate that. Oh, I was referring to this houseplant over here. It's a new addition. Hmm. Uh, don't worry, you're a good third. After Felix. Shit. Okay. Um, I do kind of want to talk about that with her, but I don't want to spend much time with her. Um, compliment her. How would you like to compliment her? Her style, her beauty, her power, her smarts, her beauty. Your beauty is unparalleled, Lady Masai. Oh. oh, stop. And I mean it. I hate listening to people and sincerely compliment my looks. I learned that very early on. But I really think so. Do you now? Okay. So we've met the clone, the robot, and the MILF. Who should I pursue? Because this is the last day of the conference. And I am afraid, I want to ask her about dating just to see, but I don't want to take up too much time because I do want to get to talk to Nova. Um, okay. non binary squid says robot. No, that's the wrong one. Give me a sec. Um, new poll. I am going to redo the last poll. Who to pursue. And y'all, please actually vote for someone this time. Please vote for someone different, I suppose. Um, fucking A. Okay. This poll is up for one minute. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, already the robot is in the lead. Okay, the robot stays in the lead. Okay, boys, okay. You better talk to Nova, robot, robot, robot. Clone or robot? Yeah, no. Uh, okay, robot is solidly in the lead, y'all. I really, yeah, okay. <laughs> And to be fair, I am really curious how stuff with the clone would go. But goddamn, if Nova's voice just so much fun to do. It's so much fun to do, you know. Um Okay, yeah. Robots at a solid 13. So I'm gonna leave this for now. Hmm. Oh, the creepy little vampire is down there. Okay. Oh yeah, robots winning. Okay, I don't want to go visit the cafeteria because that's where Satan is, but he's fun. Oh, it's lunchtime. Well, I'll go talk to him. Okay, Nova's one. So I'm going to go take a peek at the other characters but not spend any time with them. Um, just so y'all can kind of get an idea of them before you wrap up. Oh, sit with Nova. Oh my god, it's lunchtime. Never mind, I'm going to sit with Nova. You're surprised to see Nova sitting alone. In real life, I'd go with the clone because I'm a narcissist, but I like the pretty robot for the game. No, same. I designed a character that I thought was hot, so I was super excited to date my clone. But now there's her. Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> the pun of non-binary to binary code is very funny. Wait. I'm so excited. Not me sending command for the binary shit on my personal Discord server. That's smart, actually. <laughs> I glance around. Doctor's nowhere to be seen. Don't worry, you won't have to listen to his ramblings today. Where is he? Oh. I may or may not. <laughs> oh no! I may or may not have spiked his drink. Nothing too dangerous, of course. He's probably sleeping. Please tell me what the translation is. I want to know. 
I don't know. Why did you just poison him or something if you could spike his drink so easily? I have my reasons. You'll see. I will? Yes. Yes, unless you're mysteriously blinded before the critical moment. Uh, that sounds really suspicious. My apologies, I would have said died, but only very few individuals would dare break, would dare to break the conference rules like that, so it's somewhat unlikely. Wow, that really puts my mind at ease. Huh. My sarcasm module is still in the middle of calibrations. Could you confirm your intentions, please? It was sarcasm. Sarcasm confirmed. Thank you for helping with my calibrations. If it makes you feel any better, you're at bigger risk driving a car than being at this event. Maybe I'll start using my bicycle more. You have a nice, uninterrupted chat with Nova while you finish your lunch. Ah, what a cutie. Okay, what's going on here? Who? <gasps> it's her. It's disgusting how that buffoon shows off his ridiculous machine. Does he really think that people are going to find that piece of garbage impressive just because it is shiny? And the way he paws at it. It's obvious that he uses it for things other than advertised. Uh, Nova is smart, he's a clown, no gossip. Listen, I fucking love Nova, and I'm going to defend her to this old raggedy bitch. Oh, it said screw the gender binary. Oh, that's fun. That's very fun. Sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> I got really confused. <laughs> Not me being illiterate. I think that's delightful. Good for her. That actually is extremely funny. Uh, Charlotte made a joke like that before where she, um, were they, what? Charlotte made a joke like that before where they'd written, no, my roommate, Jacob, wait, which one of them did? My, my roommate, Jacob, wrote in binary code on the fridge and Shiloh said, uh, you cannot read that because, because you're not, because you're not my, because you're not binary. So, the, the binary code said beans, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> And it was really long. I don't know anything about binary code, so I didn't know that like a string of numbers is one letter. Anyway, he kept writing more since then, but I didn't bother to translate them. Um, fuck this old bitch. Fuck this old bitch. Oh, I don't, mm. you know, she is very big on acting kind of fash. I know I've said that before, but it's kind of getting worse. Next, you'll tell me we should treat it like a person. This bitch? Oh my god, no, that's Satan. That orange buffoon is an embarrassment to all villains everywhere. And he's supposed to side the Antichrist. Give me a break. What's Lucifer done? He's running around apologizing to his underlings. Apparently there was some kind of an accident at that uncivilized stall of his. I would have thought you'd be above this kind of small-minded gossip. One needs something amusing to pass the time. But if you're too sensitive a soul for such practices, I shall trouble you no further. This bitch sucks. Hope you have a good night, Ethan. Thank you for dropping by. So. Should I drop it on anybody else? Or should I? Well, I do kind of want to see my clone. You walk up to your clone who's smirking mischievously. Oh, they've done crimes, haven't they? What elaborate prank have, what, what elaborate prank have, fra have you framed me for today? We don't stand fascists or monarchs, honestly. I'll kick her ass. No, dead ass. Am I going to have to talk down a furious robot from incinerating me? Convince a demon not to rip my soul out of my skeleton in revenge? Oh, Florian, how little faith you have in me. Do you really think I would put you in such a position? Yes, absolutely. Well... You're right, but not today. Today I have a special idea. Should I be afraid? <laughs> I thought villains weren't afraid of anything. But don't worry. It's time to use my pranking skills on my most daring target of all. My master. What time is it, though? I should have checked that. Wallpaper? I can choose my wallpaper? Aw, oh, hell yeah! I wish I'd known that earlier. Aw, oh, fuck yeah. Look how cute she is. Oh my god. Well, uh, sure. I'm pleasantly surprised. I never thought you'd do anything to defy orders. Technically, my orders are to gather intelligence on you and to learn what I can from this conference about villainy. So technically, I'm not breaking them. Not like that would stop me, of course. Anyway, isn't the underlying theme of this conference how to break the rules and get away with it? 
I can think of this as my final task before becoming an actual villain. You're right, Becky. I forgot that you were the one who suggested Florian. The picture of the toaster is because that's Nova's pet, and she loves it very much. So, maybe don't be fucking rude. Down. <laughs> Sorry, that's so mean. Plus, it's something I've been thinking about for a while anyway. What's that? I want to get a makeover. That's it? How is that a, a prank? I was created to exist in the image of you, my dear original. Mm -hmm. But I'm through with that. It's time to strike out on my own. I want a body that's mine. I'm tired of looking in the mirror and seeing someone who isn't me. I can understand that. So you don't just want to change your clothes. You want to change your entire body. Yeah. Yes. That sounds difficult. Very. Fortunately, I've picked up a few things from growing up in a cloning lab. With some extra technology and magical items I've managed to borrow from some of the conference attendees, I think it's time to try. I see. So why are you telling all, me all this? Ugh. Because I need your help. You do? I'm afraid so. You see, as you might have guessed from the, the sexy and mysterious aura surrounding me, I was created with your genes using the practices of uh, the unspeakable sciences. Unspeakable sciences? What are those? I can't speak about them. To cut a long story short, I shoved a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Your clone pricks their finger. Oh, God! Pricks their finger with a pin and squeezes out a drop of dark blood, which falls to the floor with a sizzle. An acrotendral of smoke curls up from the spot where it landed. That's nasty. No, Razzle Dazzle, I was thinking about that. I feel like the, the, the whole thing is a trans allegory, you know? I've got bad blood. Now we've got problems. Yes, I don't think we can solve them without just a tiny smidge of your DNA. I see. Surprised you haven't taken some already. I'm sure you've had an opportunity. Your clone frowns slightly. Taking a sample of someone's DNA without their permission is creepy, even for me. You should tell your creator that. Hmm. Yes, well, there's another reason I asked for your help. I'd like your advice. My advice? Growing up as I did, I was never too familiar with this thing you call style. <laughs> Looking at the way you've chosen to dress yourself, I can see you aren't either. Hey! Nevertheless, I admit it wouldn't hurt to have an extra pair of eyes while I'm... <coughs> oh my god, choking on my spit. <coughs> Reshaping my aesthetic. But imagine the look on my creator's face when we're, once we're finished. So what do you say? Can you help me? I, uh, I wasn't paying attention to how much time I have left in the game, and I don't want to not have time to go back to Nova. I wanna, I, uh, I don't want to use up my whole afternoon on this, because I do want to see Nova's ending. But I feel like this is gonna take me to the end of the game. I don't know, hmm, because I think it would be cool to see this. Thank you for redeeming voice check. Um. I think it would be cool to see this ending, but I really, really want to see Nova's ending, you know what I mean? And I don't think it'll give me time for both, and this feels like it's big enough to be, like, this feels like it's big enough to be a, an ending in itself. I'm not sure. I don't want to tell them you're on your own. This feels bad. Uh, uh, thoughts? Any opinions? You can do multiple, uh, multiple tries in order to pass games affect other games in the future. Okay, that's nice. Okay. I'll probably come back and do the clone then. I don't want to say that. No, that sounds so mean. That sounds so mean. Whatever. That sounds so mean. That sounds so mean. That sounds so mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I don't want the day to end that quickly. I have to go see Nova. No. There's no one at the science booth. The low hum of machinery is soothing. We decide there's better ways to spend the conference than listening to the mechanic ASMR. Where the fuck? Where the fuck is Nova? Where is Nova? Where is Nova? Where is Nova? Hey. Not you. Not you. Where is she? <gasps> there's Nova, there's Nova. Yes. Oh, she's so cute. Hello, Florian. Hi there, I am having a good afternoon. How are you? Hi Nova, what's up? I'm gathering inspiration. About creative vengeance? Uh, yeah, I can understand why. My plans are already complete, but it never hurts to gather more data. 
Thus, villains tend to be far from forgiving, and the pure hatred we feel for our enemies grows exponentially over time. How could we ever hurt that pesky hero as much as they deserve? How can we begin to put them through the pain we have suffered? While you need to know your opponent's weaknesses in order to defeat them, I posit that understanding their value system and knowing the things that they truly fear and loathe is imperative to giving them a real punishment. While being unable to stop you from kicking puppies would be agony for any goody two-shoes, if you can blackmail them into doing it and then don't keep your end of the bargain, that is way more effective. Any form of torture is further enhanced by personalization. Watching Amelie on repeat can be far more effective than knives to a certain type of person. <laughs> I fucking love Amelie. This is a targeted attack. Another factor is length and frequency of torture sessions. For one person, a respite will be time to dwell on the horrors to come, while for another, it might give hope that an end to their suffering is possible. It's a shame your nemesis died in an accident and you get, didn't get to be there to your downfall, but now you have plenty of ideas on how to tailor your vengeance to your opponent when you do find a new one. The, is she gonna be there? There she is. Hello. Why are you looking at me like that? Let me guess. You want me to play Lab Rat again? That wasn't my intention, but now that you volunteered... Why do I feel like this was your plan all along? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm really excited to play, I mean, gather data from you. Help her with her research because I love her. What does Nosferatu mean? Ah, uh, vampire? Yes, that's it. Who's a star of Friday the 13th? Uh, I want to say Freddy Krueger. Oh, it correct. was Jason, wasn't it? Oh, God damn it! I don't watch horror movies very much. I fucked up. What is a paradox? Um, a statement that contradicts itself. Correct. When does a machine pass the Turing test? Oh. I feel like it's when a human can't tell that they're talking to a robot, but I might be wrong. That's right. Ah, I was right. Now, I'd like to ask you a personal question. Besides looks, what do you find charismatic? I find intelligent people attractive. I adore confidence. I love it when someone can make me laugh. I melt when I hear someone with a voice like honey. I mean, she's extremely intelligent. I want her to know that I find her attractive. So I feel like I should say that one. <sighs> Indeed, intelligence helps people to survive and evolve. Which of these creatures was known for their human sacrifices and cultures? It's cannibalism. This is a harmful stereotype. Wow. A character named Alucard appears in many stories. Which one came first? Girl, I don't fucking know. Uh, when did it first appear? Is that a Dracula? Yes, oh, that, that was a guess! <laughs> that was a guess. Which of the following contains the most information? Oh, she asked me this before and I sure don't know. Inc I feel like it was Petabyte. Bitch, I don't know. Why does Louis, the Witch of the North, give heroes an extremely difficult task? I don't know. Um, she wants to know if they're worthy of marrying her just for fun. The heroes want to marry her beautiful daughters. She wants to see if they're worthy of the magical sample. I don't know. Uh, that was a guess. Now let me ask something personal again. Under what circumstance would you steal? I've never stolen anything in my life and I never will. If there wouldn't be another way to feed myself when I know I could get away with it. When the only thing I'm intending to steal is other people's hearts. I do want her to know that I'm a whore. Um, so I feel like that one would be good. You know what I mean? I do feel that that's ideal in this scenario. Is that so? Oh, God damn it. She didn't like that. Is that so? Well, good thing I don't have one then. Who ruled Isengar? Who, who ruled Isengar? Uh, I know it was one of those. That I was someone on them. Fuck. My sister was a huge Lord of the Rings fan when I was 10. Um, so you'd think that I would have uh, would have kept up with that. I like the intelligence meter just keeps going down. Yeah, I'm wondering which one would have been the right choice for that, Becky. What kind of Japanese creature is the Oni? Um, Perhaps. Nah, I'm just guessing. What is empathy? The ability to understand and share the feelings Correct. of another. 
What does the Jersey Devil look like? All I can think is the Tasmanian Devil. Also, I just realized that the chat is well behind the stream, which makes me deeply upset. Hmm. Hmm. Goat. Wrong answer. God damn it, Biblio. You are wrong. How would you conquer the world? Take over a deserted planet instead of an inhabited one. First, I'll blow up the whole thing and rule whatever's left. With a certain AI by my side. Or dig up some dirt on leaders and start a revolution. Um, yes. <laughs> Are you seriously flirting with me in the middle of a questionnaire? Yes! I'm so dumb, though. She knows how stupid I am. I really am playing a himbo in love with a smart bisexual. Like, oh my god. Ah, what excellent research material. You make a great lab rat, Florian. In your rat ranking list, which is higher, me or a naked mole rat? Oh, you know you can't beat the wonderful mole rat with your cancer susceptible and aging body. But you're certainly in my top four when it comes to rats. <laughs> you're okay, Biblio. <laughs> uh, I guess that's as good as it gets. I'm glad you understand. Um, I had a dream about you. You seem to have many dreams, though perhaps that is unsurprising. My dictionary program offers at least four definitions of the word dream. But I assume you mean a series of thoughts, images, or emotions occurring during sleep. Yes. I mean the nightly screening of occasionally pleasant nonsense my brain produces when I'm asleep. The little colon three. Tell me about your dream. Oh, you were the same species as me. I was a robot with you. Ooh, which one? I don't think she thinks very highly of humans, so I'd rather be a robot with her. <laughs> exciting! That's so cute. How exciting. For you. It was a nice dream. Oh, it was a nice dream. That is, until we suddenly found ourselves at a charity concert. It turned out I was being awarded a goody two-shoes bag for having donated the largest number of used shoes to a charity shop. A villain's nightmare. Do you dream? Is that what all computers secretly do when you put them in sleep mode? Everything dreams. The play of form, of being, is the dreaming of substance. Rocks have their dreams, and the earth changes. That's beautiful. I read it in a book once. Or technically, I absorbed the entire contents of 130 million books 10 minutes ago. I love her so much. Oh. So does that mean the answer is yes, you do dream? Are there any electric sheep? More or less, screensavers are more like an afternoon nap. But real dreams are something I envy all biological forms for having. That's so cute. Don't you wonder what naked mole rats dream of? Uh, yeah. Sure. All the time. The other day I watched a documentary about an octopus that changes colors in its sleep. It made me f Oh, shit. It made me feel very inferior. All I do in my sleep is drool. The only thing I do in my sleep is drool. I would say that's almost as impressive. The closest thing I get to dreaming is when I autoplay videos in the background. It will start with a video about bullet journals, and three hours later, I find myself watching an entire channel about lockpicking. Sounds dreamy indeed. I, every single night, I, for like the past month, I've been watching the uh, Baumgartner, Baumgartner restoration videos, the painting restoration videos, to sleep, and oh my god, it is just stellar. It makes my heart so happy. I never get more than ten minutes in, though. They are, mwah, they're so good. Um, I suppose leave... It is about the end of the day. I really want to find her. Nova. I found a program that simulates streaming. It requires turning off 99.5% of my processing. And what is left is fed random data from my hard drives. The results were a rather, was a rather tiresome experience with trying to stop the doctor and a giant naked mole rat from killing each other. While editing people's dead journal pages to show this- Live journal, dead journal, that's funny to show the songs they actually listen to rather than the ones they want others to think they like. It felt both real and not real at the same time. Is that what dreaming is like? It sounds pretty accurate. Fascinating. The same company produces other simulations too, such as Existential Dread Simulator. I'm gonna have so many new experiences. Oh, girl, don't do that one. Hi, Mushroom Cows, you have a very good username. Why is that locked? Why is that locked? What is that? I just noticed that. I never noticed that before. What is that? 
Um, leave. This will. Oh, you're about to go say hi to your clone, but you suddenly get the sense that this will take a while. Turn back. I like that it warned me. Hey. No, goodbye. You walk around the conference for a bit, but quickly grow tired of hearing the same phrases over and over. And yes, you are at a villain conference that gathers the most evil of them all, but you simply can't handle hearing the words startup, innovation, or bite coin anymore. You decide to talk to someone whose vocabulary is more advanced. Secret, secret, Stevie. You spot a familiar blue hairdo not too far away, but Nova seems focused on something and doesn't react when you approach her. You touch her shoulder gently. Nothing. Could she be broken? Did the, did the doctor do something to her? Next time you see him around, you pat her shoulder again. Nothing. Still. Nova? She turns her head and smiles brightly at you. Very brightly. The, mi the micro diodes inside her mouth are blinking with excitement. Her face changes when she notices your hand on her shoulder. <laughs> yes, Florian. Why are you holding my shoulder? Did you think you could sneakily unscrew some of my parts and sell them on the black market? Or, as I believe most villains call it, the market. What? No, this has nothing to do with screwing. Or unscrewing. I was just trying to get your attention. The... The sneaky little... Mm. I love the wordplay in this game. My audio receptors work just fine. Why would you go around touching others without asking first anyway? Besides, my nerve modules are still in a prototype stage, so I keep them off most of the time. To simplify, I can't sense touch. Sorry, I'm glad you're okay. So, what, what did would you, you want? like to discuss? Oh, okay. Touch. So, you don't sense touch at all? Correct. I feel like that's sad. It's one of the things I'd miss if I were a robot. But you said it's possible for you to add that component? It is. The nerve module I ordered only has positive reviews from the entire online robotic community. And it came in discreet packaging, too. The doctor never suspected anything. Oh. Well, when you get those nerve modules sorted out and all, I'll be sure to ask first before touching you. Would you- ah! Would you like to help me calibrate them now? I can't possibly ask the doctor. He'd be angry that you're modifying yourself on your own? Well, yes, but also I wouldn't want him anywhere near my touch receptors. Sure, I'll help. Ah, this is very... Something about... This is bad. Something about, like, the experiment aspect of it is very hot to me, and I don't know what it is. Okay, so I said how earlier I was getting my blood drawn, right? Um, and it took an extremely long time, like, much longer than it did before, which was really stressful. So, like, the... Listen, if you don't like talking needles, plug your ears real quick. Um... It was in my arm for much longer than it was last time, which sucked. Um, but while I was just like sitting there, arm out, staring at the floor, um, I I pretended that I was, I pretended that they were like doing like science experiments on me. <laughs> this is horrible. I pretended that it was like a sexy vampire or something doing science experiments on me for sexy vampire reasons you know i got my signals got kind of muddled i was like blood <laughs> equals sexy vampire but also this feels like a science experiment and i was like bam they're doing both <laughs> this is so you know i really didn't analyze it too closely in the moment and i'm having to admit it in front of a lot of people and that feels yeah anyway it got me through it did it very much did but it yeah so in case you were ever wondering if i'm actually like this in real life i yeah yeah i am getting on have you all taken blood of course listen getting horny is my really just my fast track to dopamine receptors you freely offered this information to us but also i'm with you and sexy vampire so my blood felix isn't sexy enough for you sus no my love no that's not what i mean <laughs> Y'all are awful. Oh my god. Sure, I'd love to help. What do I do? Let me just switch it on. <gasps> did it do- Did it turn blue for a second? Because that person followed? 
Thank you for following Just Ken's. You made my little lights go off. This is so fun. Nova's metal eyelids start blinking rapidly, and when they stop, she looks like she's just woken up from a nap. Florian, can I touch your face? For science. Yes! Go ahead. Nova scans the area around you, and deciding there's no danger of the doctor emerging from around the corner, slowly reaches both of her arms out towards your face. You look into her pink eyes. You could swear her pupils have dilated just a bit. She gasps. Incredible. If my humor algorithms were not properly calibrated, I'd say it even feels touching. It sure is. This is probably the closest I'll ever get to caressing a naked mole rat. To be fair, she means that as a good thing. So, to help me calibrate my touch receptors, I need us to engage in physical contact for a short while. That sounds doable. What do you suggest? My knowledge of biological senses is only theoretical. How would you engage in touch play with one of your own kind? Oh, 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 oh. I feel like holding her hands or tickling her would be good, but I don't know that she would like tickling because I don't know that she knows it. I just feel like holding her hands would be kind of cute, you know? I feel like holding her hands would be kind of cute. Have fun with your kittens, monster I mind. have to go and take care of my kitten, but I hope you have a good stream, yellow heart. Thank you, my love. No, Becky, I thought the same thing. I was like, are we about to just, like, go around the corner and make <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Seems like y'all want hands, too. Well, it's pretty common for people to hold hands. Yes, I processed a significant amount of information about this ritual. Hand-holding may, may be performed in connection with many activities, including parental safety guidance, religious ceremony, games and sports, as well as the pop as well as a popular way to act as a vector for disease. Er, yes, but I was thinking more about romantic pairing. Yes. I have researched this as well. The doctor holds my hand sometimes, theoretically in this sense, but it's quite strange and never with my permission. That doesn't sound very romantic. I thought so too, but then again, I still have a lot to learn about social behaviors. Maybe you'd like to give me your permission then? Nova's eyes flip quickly around the conference room. <laughs> yes! Yes, certainly. I will elevate your privileges to that level. Yours and Nova's hands reach forward shyly until your fingertips meet in the middle with a static shock that makes you both flinch. As your hands interlock, you notice that hers are trembling slightly. Maybe it's just the vibration of her motors? I never even thought about the fact that she could be a walking vibrator. Oh my god. Her wide pink eyes meet yours as you take a small step closer. I'm not sure my senses are properly calibrated. Is this what it's supposed to feel like? What does it feel like? Shivery. I think they're working correctly then. Try to impress her? This won't go well. You're pretty sure it might be impossible for you to impress a powerful robot that knows just about everything. It might be worth a try anyway. Worst that could happen is she remembers it forever. You decide to go with a pickup line and attempt a reciting pie. No, a pickup line. Listen, Becky. <laughs> shut up. Damn, shut up. Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you are cutie. But Nova doesn't seem to have heard the answer as she springs up with excitement and primps oh. her hair. Oh. Oh, Florian, you noticed. It's a fairly new addition to my components and not that easy to spot. The doctor never notices when I change something about my gears, which is, of course, all according to my plan. The reason why my voice sounds so clear is the tellurium in my audio cords. Oh. I didn't know you held such interest in chemical elements. Well, it worked! It did. Not the way you intended, but you decide to play along and not reveal to her that her assumptions are false and you're not that much of a genius after all. That's cute. Online encyclopedias? I just want to keep talking to her! I know you like reading Wikipedia. Do you use all your knowledge to contribute to it at all? Not really. I don't enjoy writing. My programming lacks some essential component that's needed to create a writer. An inability to deal with the real world masochistic tendencies or maybe just depression <sighs> in addition to that my wikipedia accounts get banned all the time oh is it because you're so full of information so it's kind of like wikipedia's way of dramatically saying there's only room for one of us in the world <sighs> i wish it was that 
It's because my research assistant duties include updating the doctor's Wikipedia page, and he wants me to update it every few hours at least, with the smallest achievements. One time he asked me to make a separate section listing the days when he had brushed his teeth in the morning. A whole section? Yes. Yes. With a table for measuring the duration of the brushing, the force of it, and the toothpaste used. It's important for him to mention that he uses toothpaste designed specifically for men. Because men's teeth are clearly different from the rest of the population. It seems to be more about the ego than the teeth. Currently, his toothpaste brand choice is Sheer Fury of the North Siberian Hog. That's very manly indeed. So wait, does that Wikipedia section actually exist? Of course not, I immediately got banned for trolling. And the doctor assumed it was his jealous competitors trying to sabotage him. Of course. So many of my working hours go into creating new Wikipedia accounts. And you know, they make it really difficult for robots. No matter how long I stare, I can never get the captcha on my first try. Oh. <laughs> I'd be happy to help you with that. She's so cute. Honestly, Biblio, you're right. There is great potential for her to be evil, and I think that's fun and sexy. Sexy robot and me plus human's greatest invention, the vibrator. It sounds like a fantastic idea. No, you're right, honestly. Really? That's something you do for me. Anytime. Okay, leave, I guess, but I'm just gonna keep hunting her down. Like, I just wanna find her more. The fourth day of the conference comes to an end. Many of the conference goers have already left, and the rest are slowly making their way towards the portals. I had a good time at the conference, but... You can't help to wonder if you could have made deeper connections during the event. But the most important thing is that you spent your time how you wanted to and got a good experience out of it. After all, there's always next year. Fuck you. Fuck you. So I get the feeling that I was supposed to go do the thing with the clone. Like, I had the opportunity to help the clone do the makeover, and I turned them down, and I feel like that was the one I was supposed to. You sort of got to tunnel one person to get the background. Oh. Man, the problem is that I just want to, like, I want to I wanna get to know everyone, you know? I feel like with Dream Daddy, it at least gives you the opportunity to meet as many people as you want. Like, you can go on as many dates as you want before you do the third date that, like, really cements your time. Like, cements your relationship with the person. But. Damn. See, I'm wondering if I should do a replay. Or at least, like, reload it to that point. I want to see if I can reload it. They heard Walkie Vibrator and decided it was time to end. Load. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna skip a lot of this. Um, what if I say leave her alone? Yeah. Maybe you should let her make her own decisions for how she wants to upgrade herself. You know, this might not be such a good idea. I maybe shouldn't have done that. How would you like it if someone were poking around inside your head and changing yeah. things? As if anyone would be capable of comprehending the complexity of my extraordinary mind. Anyway, why don't you mind your own Cupcake. business? Cupcake. Nova is my property and my waifu. I mean, wife. Aren't you, Cookie? He kisses her inert cheek. Ugh, he's awful. If you want one for yourself, you can buy one like anyone else once we roll out the full production line. She's just a prototype anyway. <laughs> At least she should be able to properly mop a kitchen without blowing anything up by the time I've finished installing this upgrade. There. The doctor replaces Nova's head case- Oh, I'm still doing his voice. The doctor replaces Nova's head casing and screws it back on. You can thank me later when you purchase your own. All right, time to see if she's good for anything. Would you mind pressing her power switch? It's under her chin. Why- why did that happen? Please return. Okay. Well, now I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to go through all her dialogue again. When you push it, her, her pink eyes light up very close to yours. They cross cutely, turning you on. Oops. Blah blah blah. Language is wrong. Blah blah blah. Doctor. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. <gasps> Becky. I am going to go asleep up for work in less than five hours. Enjoy besties. Thank you for the bits, Becky. Have a good sleep. Have a good day at work tomorrow. It is an award to get to a high connection with all of them. I always do replays to get the different endings. Oh, there's two endings for every character. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Well, now I'm wondering if 
Is it like a good ending and a bad ending or like a good ending? I'm assuming there's one where you get together and one where you get rejected. I'm assuming, you know? And I am also assuming that sort of the quizzes I had with her may end up affecting things. I feel like that's like a mini game that's gonna end up affecting my, my score with her. Walt Women is annoying. Listen, Marcus, I'm hoping that we can kill him. Prototype. I need to do this because I need to spend time with her, but we already did this earlier. I just want to kiss you. I just want to kiss you. We should protect the environment. Oh, we can look at the achievements and see. Oh, that's a good idea. That sounds awesome because I love you. Teach humans how to be better. Ba 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 being a woman she is not a woman but does not mind being called a woman i'm gonna go talk to my clone fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you i shouldn't have gone to talk to my clone goodbye 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 i should have come here leave goodbye okay <laughs> enough talk let's fucking replay um Hello. Oh, yay. So I get to play lab rat with her. Yes, I will help her with her research. I gotta try and not suck at the quiz. I would like to see if I can do better this time. Nosferatu means vampire. Yes. yes. Jason Voorhees. Correct. Yes. Paradox contradicts itself. Turing that, test. That's right. Yes. Personal question. Uh, voice like honey. Fair enough. Which one of these creature cultures? This is wow. a bad stereotype. I'm surprised your squishy brain got this. Here's your name, Alucard. Wasn't it Dracula AD? Wrong Shit! Answer. Oh, it's son of Dracula! I got that right last time, and I fucked it up this time. Damn it! Which one of these contains the most information? Petabyte? Megabyte? Shit! Incorrect. Uh. I almost said peta. My gut said peta, and I didn't. Yes, ah, I got that right. I got it. that right. Um, stealing people's hearts. Sauron or Saruman? Saruman. Yeah. yeah. I always get those two mixed up. Oni is a demon. That's yeah. Right. My computer science degree useful for once. Empathy, ability to understand feelings. Jersey Devil. Is that the one with the horse head? Yes, yeah. When he yelled at me that answer. And how would you conquer the world? I'm sorry for just like rushing on through this, but I am determined to get to her ending. Um, certain AI, I'm gonna flirt with her. Okay, I got a higher score than last time, so I got above 50%, which was not what I did before. Great lab rat, great lab rat. I love you. I had a dream about you. Ba 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 da ba da ba. Yes, I love you. I was a robot with you. Yes, I love you. Yes, Nova is my girlfriend. Nova is my partner. Whatever term that she prefers, because I am respectful. Um, gossip. You're just gonna skip through it. Bouncer. Oh wait, I actually don't know about the bouncer. I want to learn this. Bouncer. Bouncer. Okay. He lied on his. <laughs> he lied on his CV to get here. He had actually never worked as a bouncer for a techno club in Maca, Maca Berlin. They just started calling him Bouncer after he won the first Intergalactic Bouncy Ball Championships. Uh, sure. I wonder what you'd have to say if someone asked you to gossip about me. Nobody ever has. Leave. And gonna come back, because I just like talking to her. There is no one there. Is she in the conference room? Lunch. Oh, that was it. Lunch time. Sit with Nova. <laughs> It was sarcasm. I wonder if I fucked up on previous days. I don't know that me focusing on her today is going to change the outcome of the ending. And I'm wondering if I should have just done the other days better. Because in that case, I don't know that I want to do a full playthrough. Oh, thank you, Will. Thank you, Will, for the phone. Just gonna answer her because I love her. Yes, I would like to see the photo shoot. She's so cute. Um, 
Show me the toaster. Show me the toaster. Show me the toaster. <gasps> I hadn't gotten this before. That's so cute. The little maid fit. That is so cute. I love her so much. I love that she uses emoticons. I think I'd make a perfect maid. I never drop things I'm holding. Except when I try to look cute in front of the dock. For some reason, some humans seem to think it's cute when a human woman is clumsy. Human brains never cease to baffle and amaze me. She's so cute. Oh my god, I love her. Right? Okay, so now she's gotten to experience dreaming. And my clone. Um, crimes in their honor. Blah, 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 blah. Right, well, I am wondering. Stay to listen. Nova's here. I love her. Blah, 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 blah. Should I? I think that I may only be able to pursue the clone this ending. Does anyone else get that vibe? I think that I will only be able to proceed to uh, a an ending, an official ending, with my clone. Because I pursued them quite heavily in previous days. Okay, Will said yes, so I will not pursue Nova after all. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Okay. Clone. Okay. So, let's pursue the clone after all. Let's get right up to the point where I abandoned them. Which I do feel bad about. Okay, y'all, we can do this. We can do this, we can do this. <laughs> the poor, the poor viewers. Okay. What I need to do. You will? Excellent. Now I'll just need your finger, please. Your clone takes out a clean needle. Why do you have so many needles? It's always good to be prepared. Finger. You reach out and your clone takes your hand into theirs. It's warmer than you expected, but it feels familiar in a good way. Just a small poke. Ouch! Oh, come on. I'm sure you've been hurt more than this in some epic battle for conquest. I am just spam clicking. There, all finished. They could have taken one of my hairs. There's DNA in there. Damn. What kind of bandage would you like? Your clone pulls out several small packages of bandages with different designs. Dinosaurs, flowers, stars and planets, superheroes, or fairy tales. Um, stars and planets. Your clone wraps an astronomically themed bandage around your finger. I'm, it's out of this world. And vintage too, they still have Pluto. So what else do we need to do? Come, I'll take you to my special chamber. And uh, Florian, yes, Nerolf, please try to take this seriously. I don't know if there's any going back after this and I wanna look cool, like me. Whew, okay, I'm ready. Your clone leads you to a large mysterious wardrobe behind the dumpsters and steps inside. You notice the small windows you can see inside, as well as a control panel with various buttons to change the appearance of the person inside. Mash a bunch of buttons randomly for fun, or carefully customize your clone's new look. <gasps> I get to choose? Oh my god. This is fun. Are there right choices or anything? Like, are there right or wrong choices for me to make? Because if I fuck this up, I'm gonna shit myself. Oh, that's cute! Wait, that hair is really cute. Great! Okay, so I can just make a, make a total hottie. The snakes are fun. Ugh. They're so pretty. I love the long hair. I really do. I do kind of love this. I do like the big boy body. I really do. I do also really like the space buns. These are all really cute. Does anyone have any preferences on longer short hair? No, right, like this bitch is hot as hell. Hmm. 
long. I am partial to the long as well. I'm feeling that or that. I do love tentacles, but I think I do like that. Yeah. Eyes, should I do one or two? Ooh, man buns are cute, huh? Oh, that's also really pretty. Ooh. Okay. Will says two eyes. And should I do this hair or this hair? Hair A or hair B? A, B. A, B. I... Okay, Nerd Legacy says A. I kind of feel B, so this is distressing. Okay, like a lot of you are saying A, so anything for the fans. <laughs> I do feel good about this. Um, ears, I think I still have them. Okay, I have them like medium. I just look like a human boy. Um, should I do medium ears or human ears? I feel like the medium- pointy as fuck. Those are very pointy ears, aren't they? Those are almost too pointy. I kind of do want to do like the middling or the... Okay, so y'all seem to want the pointy ones. <laughs> okay. Local fandom said medium. Thank you for siding with me, my friend. Yeah. Maybe we'll compromise between the stabby ones and the regular pointy ones. You could say that it's just fully down for canon. Yeah. Sharp boy, medium. Okay. I feel like even the medium ones are pointy. The reason I'm wary of giving in the super pointy ones is because um, I think that's the ones that they had originally. I'm trying to change all aspects. So I think medium will probably be good in this case. When you finally finish, your clone comes out of the closet with their brand new look. That felt strange. Like someone put all my atoms in a jar and shook them up. Relatable. Did it work? Let's see how I look. Your clone looks at a full length mirror on in the inside of the wardrobe. Wow. It's different. I'm different. Good different? Your clone makes silly faces at themselves in the mirror. I think, yes, I, I think I like it. This, it'll take some getting used to, but I, I can work with this. Florian, uh, thank you. <laughs> Just wait till my creator sees this. It'll be so funny. I hope so. Your name? Well, we talked about your appearance, but what about your name? What do you mean? Meryl, your name. How do you feel about it? Perfectly fine. Why wouldn't I? I mean, because it's mine, but... You know what? It's fine. As long as you're happy with it, it doesn't matter where it came from. Where it came from? I never thought about it. I just thought Narol sounds neat. How did you get your name? The name is that Becky chose it, actually. The only game where you can literally fuck yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, legendary Ancestor. One of the dogs. Rare Flower. Chose it myself. I don't know. You don't like it? Thank you for redeeming voice check. I will, will try to keep my voice down low. And thank you, uh, Local Phantom, for redeeming Hydrate Zone. I can always trust you guys to keep me hydrated, can't I? Cheers. Um, okay. I'm gonna say... A rare flower. Or, well, I did choose it myself. Yeah, that's closest. Whoa, is that legal? Sure. Hmm. Even if it were illegal. Thank you, my friend. This headset is actually brand new. I just got a couple days ago. You are at a villain conference. Are you going to let a little thing like the law stop you? Good point. Anyway, some people prefer to go by a nickname or something like that. A nickname? They call themselves Nick? No, no, it, it, it's a name your friends call you. <sighs> friends. And this nickname, it can be whatever I want? Sure. Maybe I should go by Florian. Well, no, you can't choose the same name as me. <sighs> your clone grumbles. You said it could be whatever I wanted. Your childhood. I've been wondering about something else. What was your childhood like? Even though we share the same DNA, I imagine your upbringing was pretty different from mine. 
Why are you interrogating me again? We've talked about my childhood a few times. It's only fair. Mm. Mm, very well. Although I had an artificially accelerated childhood, I haven't been alive nearly as long as you. What do you want to know about specifically? Were you happy? Happy? Is anyone ever happy? I've heard legends of it. What defines a happy childhood? Feeling good most of the time, living in a warm, safe home. I'd say feeling good most of the time. It's hard to feel good when you always feel like something is missing. Like what? Feeling like a real person? You are a real person, aren't you? Maybe, but I've never met anyone like me. Except you, of course. Anything else? How were you raised? If you must know, I was raised to be just like you in as many ways as possible. Though, after all that, you're not what I expected. Most of my creator's impressions of you were based on your own childhood. Creepy. You're not going to tell me anything more, are you? Nope. Fine. But it made me curious what you're actually like growing up. I was a troublemaker, a good kid. I was totally average. I was a good kid. Really? Ew. It's good to see you finally got on the path of villainy. Otherwise, all my training would have been for nothing. Plus, there are already too many goody two-shoes in the world, don't you think? Definitely. Anything else? Did you go to school? Ew, school. I know. I was homeschooled. How was it? I have nothing to compare it to. Do most classes have... Do most schools have classes on trickery, conquest, and potion making? I don't think so. It's too bad. We need major educational reform. You're right. Anyway, it sounds like you had a lot of preparation for villainy. Maybe you should be giving a talk at this conference instead of just attending it. Ah, uh, no thanks. Standing in front of a room full of morons, sprinkling droplets of my wisdom upon them as they hang on my every word. Actually, on second thought, that doesn't sound so bad. Anything else? Okay, back. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Um, your relationship with your creator. So I ran into your creepy master again. You know, the one who stole my DNA and cloned hey. me. It's not my fault. I know, but still. Uh, don't you get tired of being bossed around? Don't you want to rebel sometimes? Or at least be a bit more independent and treated with a little more respect? You don't seem like a minion to me. <sighs> oh, please don't use that word. Fine. Hench. Person. I do a lot more than hench, you know. What does that even mean exactly? I don't know. But look, you don't understand. I, I know things about my master, which you don't. Hi, Rat King Aries. Hi, bestie. We're seducing my clone. It was kind of them to let me attend the conference. I hadn't been allowed in the lair in weeks. That's exactly what I'm talking about, though. Don't you think you should be able to come and go as you please? Hmm. I understand what you're trying to say. But every time I leave, I just want to go back inside. And vice versa. Something about the way I was <laughs> raised, I suppose. I don't expect you to understand. Maybe I would understand if you'd give me some more information. That's not for me to discuss. Oh. Anyway, can't you understand that there can be something nice about being submissive sometimes? I'm more dominant. I like to be the one giving orders, both as a villain and otherwise. But are you trying to say you and your creator are- Okay, I did this earlier. They're not fucking, they're not fucking. Do you need me to hold your hair back? Will you pull it a bit if you do? What? What? <laughs> I love that. And I'm going to skip over this because I did it earlier, but I do want to spend the time with them. Maybe. I know how you feel. I'm skipping. Yes, I'm skipping. Uh, 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 oh. I want to fall in love with my clone. Leave. Whatever. Goodbye. Fourth day is over. I feel like I fucked this up. Ah! Happen again! I'm mad. Happen again. A bitch can't do anything, huh? Okay. No, I hear you, Will. I'll have to do another playthrough of it then. Oh man, this is very good though. 
Damn. I'm so sad. I wish I'd known that up front, but it didn't even occur to me. Um, no, I haven't gotten to kiss anyone. Ugh. I made the mistake of trying to get to know everyone, and then time for a five-hour stream. No, honestly, I made the mistake of trying to get to know, like, everyone, uh, and then focus on someone, but apparently that is not how the game works. So, um, I want to go on break. When I come back, I, I'm so tempted to start a genocide run of Undertale, and I know it's going to be so distressing. Oh, thank you, Will. I appreciate you. Like, <sighs> Marcus wants to do that. I am scared as shit, though. Like, I'm like, am I even emotionally prepared for this? Because I just did, I just finished True Pacifist last night, and it was incredible. It was incredible. I've severely underestimated this game. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like I, I feel like I'm gonna lose viewers if I do that run but at the same time I feel like a lot of people don't even end up playing that I'm not mentally stable enough for some of this no honestly that's what I feel like because it's distressing as hell yeah I'll think about it on the break and then I'll come back and we'll chat more um, I am going to start with the fun jazzy music though Give me a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Please come back. Where is my jazzy Nintendo music? That's the wrong one. Actually, this is good. Okay, I'll be right back. 